February 12, 1981. Qualitative personal interview with Subject 1 on ancestral research regarding Avalon de Grand Prix. How are you feeling? Any side effects? Not really. Aside from the headaches. They've been worse since I started staying in longer. But I don't want to stop. I like her. I want to know what she does next. What's it like? Reliving her memories. So different. The Animus, I mean. The past. At first it was confusing. Distracting. Like New Orleans, the stench. I wasn't expecting all the smells. Smell is the sense most directly linked to memory. When I'm in her memories, it's like I can smell more than I usually can. In general, women have a more acute sense of smell than men do. I had wondered how that would translate. Anything else? Uh, Yeah. She's smaller than me, but it's like her body could do more. Did that surprise you? At first, yeah. The ERA people might hate me for this or whatever, but I don't usually think of girls that way. Climbing things. My mom, my sisters. The animal feeling of Aveline sinking her hidden blade into the throat of... Go on. It doesn't feel... feminine. What I think of as feminine. But then at the same time, it does. Her center of gravity is way lower. That was a surprise. How easy it is to land. How steady I am on her her feet. Sorry. This is hard to talk about. No, it's, it's fascinating. This is what we need. Pure experience, in your own words. Okay. Can you tell me about Gerald Blunk? What about him? He and Avalon were close, but we haven't been able to ascertain if he might be your missing ancestor. Do her memories suggest anything to you? Um... Does this make you... uncomfortable? Remember, these are her memories. You're just playing them back. It's not even acting. You're a researcher. Like you say, I haven't experienced her... consummating... anything... That that would be... Anyway, I think maybe she was confused. Oh. Well, um, first of all, I don't really know for sure, okay? I mean, guys think about sex more than girls, right? That's a fact. As a researcher, what did you observe? Does it mean she's more like a guy if she thinks about... Is that why she's able to assassinate... Well, okay, here's the thing. I don't know her thoughts, but from what's in her memories, physically, the, the, the fidgeting, some hesitation, what she looked at, who she looked away from, the things she didn't say when I expected her to, if I had to guess what it meant, I would think she was thinking about sex. But I'm a guy, so I would think that, right? So what does it mean for women to act that way? It has to mean something else, right? As a subject, you're able to observe more finely than I am in review. What about unwanted attention from men? Well, I thought that would be the hardest thing to deal with. I'm not into that, for the record. Not at all. Yes, I know. But the way she dealt with it, it happened so often. She, It's like you stop noticing everything she does to avoid it. Crossing the street, eyes in the back of her head... She knew how to handle herself. When she was... charming, felt kind of similar to... killing. Or the build-up to killing. I... Can we take a break, Mr. Vidic? Of course. Ready to go on? Yes. Avalyn was black. And white. On her father's side. You're sensitive to that? I guess. I mean, I'm white. Aveline looks black, so that's different. But y- you get used to it. Like, with the girl thing. Until someone makes you not used to it. 
What do you mean? I don't think I've ever had to think so much about what I'm wearing or how I'm walking. But Aveline, it's like she goes through her whole life in these uniforms. People expect her to behave in a certain way. Definitely. Sometimes I worry I'll slip up and play too relaxed at the warehouse and, I don't know, blow her cover. You can't blow her cover. I know, I know. I'm just replaying the memories. I can't change them, I know. But, but I, I see it, right? It's a risk. It's... Stressful? Yes. It's best when she goes out as an assassin. On the roofs or in the bayou. I think she was more relaxed that way. Can you imagine? You're only relaxed when you're going to kill someone. Let's stick to memories rather than imagination. What about the slaves? They're kind of just... everywhere. I mean, that, that sounds bad. Slavery is bad, but, but no one's acting like slavery is bad. It's fun when she frees slaves. Is it supposed to be fun? We're not looking for supposed to. Focus on what it is.
Surrogate Initiative, Test Session 37, August 9th, 1981. Host, Eileen Bach. DNA sample SB1970. Open! Good morning, Miss Kurtz. You look well, considering the circumstances. Are you rested? Hmm. Have you eaten? Your friends are dead, Miriam. Bartle Shink and all his navigators, his Edelweiss pirates, executed for five counts of murder. This has a trial. You must be proud. There was no need! They were scum! All of them! You hear me? All of you are scum! 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 <laughs> I see it so clearly now. She didn't break, did they? You have nothing! Quiet, girl! You don't have the yours effect! If you did, you wouldn't be talking to me at all! None of yours lay seat! I said quiet! None of yours lay seat! Quiet! None of yours lay seat! Open your eyes. Can you hear me? Eileen. Eileen. Power's off. Get the position in here. Step aside, son. Eileen, talk to me. Can you open your eyes? Clear. Oh, God. No spot. towards a speech in honor of Dr. Eileen Bach's premature retirement. When I first learned of Dr. Bach's unfortunate accident, I couldn't help but feel a great sense of loss at... No. No, no. Hmm. Uh, Dr. Eileen Bach has and always will be a friend and colleague. When I first learned of her unfortunate accident, I was shocked, of course. To see any friend injured in such a way is deeply upsetting. And to further learn that her injuries were severe enough to force a premature conclusion to her brilliant career, well... I would not wish that fate on anyone. But, if there is any solace to be found in her accident, it may be this. That she was injured in service of her research. In service of work that she cherished most dearly. And it is thanks to her, it is due to her diligence, that some of the mysteries of genetic memory have been further illuminated. And while it is true that work on her project, the surrogate initiative, as she called it, has been temporarily halted, the copious amount of work she has done over the past three years has been incredibly valuable. So while her work has been suspended for the time being, her legacy will most certainly live on. <laughs>